Throughout the day, the armed defenders squad and armoured vehicles surrounded the house on a quiet street in Napier. Police moved in this afternoon and retrieved the body of their colleague, Senior Constable Len Snee. It had been lying on the lawn outside the house since a routine drug raid went wrong yesterday morning. He has a, a lot of ammunition available to him and our officers um, who are in the close court and who have been fired upon tell us that he is firing upon them with more than one calibre. Former soldier Jan Moliner was holed up inside and continued to fire at police. His friend Tony Moore managed to speak to him on the phone earlier today and says he was wounded in the exchange of fire with police snipers. Obviously not critical, otherwise he wouldn't be you know, as chirpy as what he was. So he's been grazed a few times. Police cut off power and water to the house and were hopeful of a peaceful end. We are dealing with a very complex character who, uh, as you might expect in negotiations that go on for the length of time that these have, goes through various mood swings. Senior Constable Len Snee had a wife and a son. One of his friends read a statement on behalf of the family. We are all struggling to come to terms with what has happened. We know that we have some difficult times ahead of us. There are growing calls for New Zealand police officers to be armed. They've only recently been granted approval to carry tasers. Kerry Ritchie, ABC News, Auckland.